Morning guys. Saturday morning. On my way over to Mr. Willis's pond, me and Buck gonna do this challenge this morning. I've been standing on the edge of the water. Na -na 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 -na. No one knows how far it goes. Come on, Buck, sing along, son. M I C K E Y. Come on, there ain't no contest here, Buck. There ain't no contest. No one knows how far it goes. That's all the words I know. M I C K E Y. Is going down. So, anyway, I am on my way over there now. Driving this little Hyundai car. Speaking of Mickey Mouse, I ain't even taking this thing out of the wrapper yet, people. And right here. Still in the wrapper. Now I know Buck probably been out there at Disneyland practicing with his little Mickey Mouse rod. He has came with a little game. Buck may, first of all, Buck got a little bit of an advantage on this thing. I told y'all already, he used to working with a short rod. He, he's used to working with a short rod. And uh, beetle spins, they don't call him beetle spin buck for nothing. That boy got more beetle spins in that tackle box than he does any other lure. Red, purple, green, yellow, black, any color you could possibly imagine, he got in that tackle box. But I learned something. Because before I go out and spend my money on a lure, I like to look and see where that lure is made. Try to support the USA as much as I can, which is getting more and more and more difficult every time I go, especially if I go to the damn Walmart. But anyway, uh, that H&H &H lure I learned is made in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That's a hometown lure. Yeah, anybody don't know it, I'm, I'm from Louisiana. I, I don't know how I would have turned out if I'd have been raised in California. I'd have probably been one messed up individual. I mean, I, I'm kind of messed up being in Louisiana, but I don't think, I, I, don't, I probably couldn't survive California. Oh boy, he pissed me off last night, man. He did. He you know, did. there's things you joke about, and my mama ain't one of them. What the hell's drag at on this thing, man? You ain't got no drag? There might not be a drag. Damn. Huh. That is gonna be bad news. This is what I get to work with. You used to working with a short rod, though, Buck. Well, you know. Like I said, it ain't the length of your rod, it's how you jig it. He, uh, he ain't doing no better than I am. I think we, uh, I just can't get, I can't, I can't wait to get to the edge of the water. We're gonna do two giveaways during this challenge. Uh, Buck gonna do one, I'm gonna do one. Yeah. He has a $25 gift card from Bass Pro. I'm having a, a $25 gift card from Bass Pro. I don't think, uh, I don't know how he's going to do his, but anybody that commented on my video or his video, you made a comment and you're subscribed to our channel, I'm going to put you in that drawing. Go ahead, book. Well, Moana getting ready to put her foot about knee deep in Mickey Mouse's ass. Well, what I tell you before, if it wasn't for Mickey, there wouldn't be no Moana. <laughs> oh, it's a 
this a bass too, man. That's a beast. That was really a Mickey Mouse fish. Every turn I take, every trail I track, every path I make, every road leads back to the place I know. Come on, Buck. That's not going to be good right there. Go fast enough, that's a buzz bait. <laughs> Can't quite retrieve that so much that fast though. Come on. I was just fucking around that time trying to do a buzz bait like you did. Oh this this ain't easy. <laughs> well, one to one. One to one. Feel a little better about it. I don't feel worth shit about you it. can't end up in the tie. Apparently that pisses people off. <laughs> I saw him hit. That's number two book. Two oh, you lose another beetle spin? Not two fish up, just one. There's two fellas. There's three beetle spins on back of that car over there if you want them. What the hell? Hell yeah.
You sound like Bubba down there. And how long you gonna hold that little knot here? Yeah, he had that hook in. <laughs> I can't believe. what you sounded like. You you was mistaken. Dog eat dog out here, Buck. That's a wrap. We have five minutes left to go. He lost his last bait. And my reel broke. Again, Buck versus Elvis ends up in a draw, two to two. Starting to think two is the magic number for our challenges. But ain't like there's no money involved. Dead even. Everybody still gets a chance to win something. So on a tie. On a tie. On a damn tie? On a tie. <laughs> That's apparently all we got to offer these people is a damn tie. It's a damn shame. Mm-hmm. What the hell? There you have it. That's our Kitty Rod Beetle Spin versus H and H challenge. Well, guys. That's it. Tie, a damn tie. I can't believe that. I would never in my wildest imagination. To be honest, I really thought Buck was going to walk away with this one. Because we're down here in this little old pond. And uh, he's got them beetle spins, which he is highly accustomed to throwing. H and H is uh, uh, just something I found that was close to the same size as a beetle spin. I really, really thought Buck was going to take this without any problem. But he just couldn't get it done. Guess the next challenge me and Buck have, I just say, I. Uh, you know, torpedo versus a whopper plopper or something. And uh, let him go out there and fish. And I just sit at the house. Hell, it still might be a tie. He may not. He, he probably wouldn't catch shit and it'd still be a damn tie. <laughs> right now. 
I'm going to get me some, uh, I'm going to get me some chicken gizzards. Y'all through laughing? I'm going to get me some damn chicken gizzards. And then I'm going to go sit at the house and rest and, uh, edit this damn video and try to think of some way we can do a damn challenge where we can go out and catch some fish I'm going to tell y'all something and I think I've said this before since I started fishing with Buck and Bubba my count has gone way down, way down. I know my daughter still got my truck, and I ain't real sure when, when I'll get that back. Her, hers is still in the shop. My wife's still out of town with her aunt having, uh, her aunt's having back surgery. So, had that surgery Monday, I believe. Monday or Tuesday. And, you know, they cut her from her neck all the way down to her tailbone. Took out a bunch of old rods and put in a bunch of new rods, so I'm pretty sure she ain't gonna be wanting to get up and do very much moving around. Although I think by now they have her up moving around. She probably ain't liking it at all. Uh, so I don't know when I'll get my truck back. But as soon as I get my truck back, Mr. James is going to Merval. Buck could not pull off a win using his beetle spin. And his little Mickey Mouse rod couldn't do it. Couldn't pull it off. Oh, what's wrong with the boy? But I know this. We're going to get them chicken gizzards. Okay, you're going to put some hot sauce on them chicken gizzards. And then I'm going to go sit on my backside for just a little while next time all right guys back at the house getting ready to do this drawing this is for a $25 gift certificate for this is for a $25 gift card for Bass Pro Shop uh, I'm gonna use the comments from my channel I think Buck's gonna use the comments from his channel uh, a lot of people commented on both channels, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this drawing. I'm gonna let Buck know who won, and then he can do his drawing and make sure the same person don't win. You know, both. I don't think that'd be quite fair, but let's see how this goes. All right, guys, I got the what have I got? The Kitty Rod Challenge, Moana. All right, I'm gonna copy that URL right there. Open up a new tab. I'm gonna go to YouTube comment picker. Go to YouTube random comment picker. I'm gonna paste that there. And I'm gonna hit that button. 25 people commented on this video. And let's see who's gonna win. Engineering hook sets. That's kind of funny because uh, Blono, aka Engineering Hook Sets, kind of suggested uh, this little challenge. Turns out he didn't know what the hell he was talking about because this challenge sucked. Sorry, Blono, but it is what it is. Send me a email uh, with your address 
and I will send this gift card out to you early this week tomorrow Sunday can't do it tomorrow but uh, you know Monday or Tuesday I'll get it in the mail to you send an email to cranking and yanking at gmail.com congratulations I hope you buy something besides an H&H &H or a Beetle spin with that gift card good luck